Premium Price Determination Part 1. In this video lesson, we shall discuss how the equilibrium price is determined in the market. In a free enterprise economy, it is determined by the two forces, namely demand and supply. These two forces are called market forces. The producers or sellers are the creators of supply. Yes, yes is the supply curve. It slopes upward from left to right. It means they want to supply less at a lower price. At 5 rupees, they want to sell only 100 units. And more at a higher price. At 15 rupees, they want to sell 300 units. Thus, each point on the supply curve represents a price and a quantity. The producers are willing to sell. Producers prefer a point on the supply curve to a point not on the supply curve. Sellers always want to move along the supply curve. In short, this is how they plan to behave in the market. The consumers are the demand generators. DD is the demand curve. They want to buy less at a higher price. At 15 rupees, they want to buy 100 units and more at a lower price. At 5 rupees, they want to buy 300 units. Each point on the demand curve shows a price and a quantity the consumers are willing to buy. Buyers prefer a point on the demand curve to a point not on the demand curve. Buyers always want to move along the demand curve. In short, this is how they plan to behave in the market. Buyers and sellers' behaviors are just opposite to each other. For exchange to take place, they have to agree on a price. Such a price is established at point E. It is called the equilibrium point because demand and supply curves cut each other at this point. Point E is on the demand curve as well as on the supply curve. At point E, the price is 10 rupees. This is the equilibrium price. Quantity is 200 units. It is called equilibrium quantity. 10 rupees price is agreeable to both buyers and sellers. Hence, it is called as the equilibrium price. At the equilibrium price, sellers sell what they desire. 200 units. Buyers get what they require, 200 units. At that price, market is cleared. Supply is exactly matched by the demand. Hence, the equilibrium price is also known as market clearing price. We can summarize what we have discussed so far. 1. Equilibrium price is determined by the interaction of demand and supply curves. 2. Equilibrium price is also known as market clearing price. At last, a question to the viewers. Except point E, all other points belong either to the demand curve or supply curve. Say yes or no. If your answer is yes, good. You have understood the discussion. In the next video, we shall discuss what will happen if there is a disturbance to the equilibrium price.